I woke up in the spaceship traveling at the speed of light. Everything feels so misplaced. The sky is at my feet and the ground above my head. I'm landing on a star with little flying cars. But I feel like I already know this place. It was the first time our eyes collided. I wish that I could see your face again. Talk without words. Spread my arms, close my eyes, and take off like a bird. And I'm landing on a Dear friends, welcome to Spacefaring Civilization, where I'm creating a platform for filmmakers to help each other create optimistic sci-fi. Today is a special day. I've got a guest with me, Michael Slater. Welcome, Thank Michael. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. It's it's, it's wonderful yeah. that you uh, you've come. Uh, we we love to hear oh. what you have to say about your experiences. Okay. Um, just to let you know, so Michael has. Uh, just let me go to my screen. Michael has uh, played in two of my short films. One is Unrequited Fear, and the other one is the first Astronaut. So, mm. Astronaut. Astronaut. <laughs> astronaut. <laughs> That's an Australian astronaut. Mm. Um, so, just quickly before we start uh, our conversation, mm. Um, one of the things that I was thinking is important in filmmaking is teamwork. Mm. Uh, what do you think about that? And, and how does it translate in the acting world? It translates actually really quite well because, you know, to, it is a team. And, you know, you're, you're talking to the director, the producer, uh, and the crew as well. And you, you're helping their vision and your vision meet the same. So, you know, and it's, it's good to sort of talk to talk to them and see what they want and what you can bring to the table and sometimes you make you know uh, um, suggestions and changes and things that you can and you can really work together to really help it in a really good teamwork and and, and it just ends up being a really good happy sort of direction, direction and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it makes their vision help and sure, yours sure. really come together um, well filmmaking doesn't happen by itself does it mm. so there's people pushing like you know both from the crew side and the and the, and the acting side mm. uh, to bring it like into fruition. Mm. Um, how much uh, work is done in pre-production with the actors? 
Uh, what what do you guys do? Is it just reading or is it like rehearsal? Yeah, uh, sort of. Uh, it's a couple of things. Like obviously, it's meeting with the director and the crew um, first. Obviously, before you start shooting, you know, it could be a table read, it could be uh, a character, you know, development, what they want and what you want to bring to uh, the character. So a lot of them do that where you meet up and you might meet a couple of times. If there's sort of, um, you know, things like fight choreography or things like that, you know, you want to plan quite well in advance on how you're going to execute, you know, these techniques and these fight scenes, all that stuff. Or, you know, just conversation and how you, what sort of voice, what sort of accent, what sort of persona you're going to put on. Um, so there's, there's a lot of fair bit of prep and and that's just on the actor's point of view, you know, that's and right. you imagine the prep and everything has gone from the production, you know, yeah. from day one to where they get to that point. And obviously there's like costume fitting and things like that. that you yeah, yeah, a lot of them, yeah, uh, you know, they sort of, um, you know, give you a brief on what they want and what they want you to wear and, and you know, um, you also got to remember with, um, you know, what, what clothes are going to look good on screen. You know, uh, things like stripes or checkers, they, they don't look good. They strobe on yeah. on, uh, on camera. So, you know, you got you to think about it and you got to talk to them. And obviously, you don't wear labels. Nothing with yeah, labels. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Always remember that one. Very yeah, important, yeah. very marking. important message. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No markings whatsoever. Um, so if you don't mind, Michael, mm. we'll have a little bit of a chat about you. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'd love to find out about yourself. All right. So since you're part of the whole... Uh, space running civilization <laughs> <laughs> team, yeah, yeah. and and uh, you you you're a fan of optimistic sci-fi yourself. I am, yeah, yeah. Like hmm. um, so, what got you into acting? So, what what attracted you? Um, it was sort of something that came to me from day one. Like hmm. as 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 a child, I was fascinated by it when I found out really what what acting and filmmaking was. So, I was I was drawn to it from a very very early age, and as, even as a child, I sort of would uh, act through characters accents um movements and all that stuff it was um so it was sort of like something that i just felt i was drawn to from mm -hmm. from day one yeah okay. yeah so it's, it's what it. kind of roles in, you know uh, attract you like what kind of uh, uh, roles do you accept yeah look um due to my my look and size i always get the um you know the, the thug tough guy kind of thing and they're fun they're, they're a lot of fun playing the villain is so much fun you know yep. it's it's sort of you, you you're playing someone that's not you mm -hmm. and it's such a it's it's therapeutic to do because you, yep. you're, you're playing this person that's really quite despicable it's quite fun but then also uh roles i do like with anything with a lot of emotion when you get to yep. show you know um how happy you can be how upset you can be those yep. ones you know so you know if, um ones i really enjoy which i was surprised was like when i'm in a relationship or something on yep. film they want a really quite moving oh, those ones okay. yeah um but then also anger when you're like yelling you yeah. know, <laughs> fighting that sort of stuff those ones so, are just uh, you know so much fun so much fun yeah yeah, yeah. so why is optimistic nutrition important to you well I, I feel it's it helps um getting people out of their own uh, I guess safety, safe world, you know, kind of, it's out of their own box kind of thing. So sort of think outside that box and uh, think about possibilities and, you know, um, I, I think it, it just, it helps us to expand as people to, yeah. to really um, think of other possibilities and other avenues. Yeah. And I, I think it's um, important to the soul, you know, to, to your mind, to expand and learn. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's how I feel as well. I think, the more positivity we have in the world, the better. It, it really helps. And, and you know, mm. having a vision of a better future. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So, who's your favorite actor? Actor, uh, I have a couple. Um, I really like, like, I really enjoyed uh, Rick Mail, which is a British actor. He's passed away now, unfortunately. And Leslie Neil, but Leslie Nielsen, um, as the comedy actors, but yet they um, did it so seriously and mm. so convincingly. And um, I just found them, especially Rick Mail, sort of watched him as a kid and really sort of tried to learn off his mannerisms yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is a tough one. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite optimistic sci-fi? <laughs> I, I had a, I had a good think. I had a good think. And, um, I've got a few couple. I think mm -hmm. I just picked a handful. I had to really narrow it down. I'd say definitely Terminator. That okay. was just, um, amazing at the time. The, the first two movies, I think were brilliant. I think yeah. they really helped it. I think, Predator was really good too because that's okay. it, it's sci-fi, but it's also um, involves you know a thriller kind of element yeah. to it. Uh, obviously, Star Wars. I think uh -huh. Star Wars is brilliant. Yeah, okay. I know you're a Star Trek guy, but yeah, I do like my Star. <laughs> I do like my Star Wars. Sure. I thought District Nine was brilliant. 
District 9. I thought that was a really interesting. interesting. So it was about refugees, any it, refugees. It, it had a lot of subtle meanings yep. as well, and, yeah, yeah. and you know, it sort of involved uh, discrimination, and I thought that was yep. really interesting. And finally, Aliens franchise. I really, okay. I, I really like that. That was, that was scary Little as well. running around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, big bugs. It, it's not so yeah, optimistic, yeah. but it's, it's, it's sci-fi, and I, yeah, do, yeah. I do enjoy that element yeah, yeah. of it. Yeah. It was definitely a good sci-fi. Yeah, like yeah. Um, okay, so just before we get on to talking about the, um, the characters mm -hmm. that um, Michael played in the two, uh, two short films that I mentioned before, <laughs> um, so the, a little bit later, uh, Michael will give us tips on acting in optimistic science fiction, well, acting in general, but mm. uh, especially relevant to optimistic sci-fi, uh, which is very useful, especially for those of us who are behind the camera as well, mm -hmm. will find it very useful mm. uh, okay. to get into acting. Mm. And this is something that I recommend. If, um, if you want to make films, uh, try all the roles. Don't, don't just stick to one thing. Yes, definitely specialize. Mm. Uh, but doing a bit of acting, doing a bit of directing, doing a bit of writing, mm. uh, it kind of broadens your mind and it uh, makes things go a little bit smoother when, mm. when it comes to production. Don't you agree? I totally agree. And yeah. it's, it's worth, you know, with, with it um, is uh, talking to people and understanding where they're coming from and what they what they want, yep. you know, and even understanding what the crew goes through, what the, you know, the crew work hard. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. they don't, don't, they go from day one, you know, from, from, uh, early morning to late uh, late at night, and I think it's um, it's a respect thing, but it's yeah. also understanding. It really helps yeah, for, for everyone. Process work. Yeah, yeah, exactly right, and yeah. what it takes. What it takes, and what it's yeah. taken them to get there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And acting is tough, guys. Acting mm. is very tough, mm. and uh, a director who knows how to act or at least knows the basics of it, mm. it helps a lot. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm getting there, Michael. I'm not quite there yet, but yep. I'm, I'm, uh, oh, you, you do a great job. I'm, I'm sure with the tips that you're going to tell I us. I think you're there, man. You're, one of, you're a good one. One of the best, man. <laughs> okay, let's um, talk about uh, Dimitri in the mm -hmm. first astronaut. So the yeah. character Dimitri. Yeah. So let's have a quick look at the, a, a little um, snippet of uh, of the film, uh, and then we'll come back and talk to Michael about that character specifically. Sorry, there's no sound. I'll fix that in a second. Uh, uh, should, should get in trouble with Russia, let me tell you. <laughs> NASA weren't too happy about it either. Oh, no, 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 no. So I'll play that again because um, I stopped up with the sound. Uh, she would refer to us as, uh, how would you say, uh, 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 honorary astronauts. <laughs> Astronaut, yeah. yes. Yes, <laughs> and, um, and uh, <laughs> when you so see us on the television, uh, it, uh, should, should get in trouble with Russia, let me tell you. <laughs> NASA weren't too happy about it either. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so that was a little snippet of uh, the astronaut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you you playing with so the other uh, the other um, actor was John mm. and he was playing an American astronaut and you were playing a cosmonaut astronaut. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That interaction was very very interesting. Oh, John! John um, I was so excited because yeah. he I've seen him so around so many times and that was yeah. the first time I actually met him and then got to work with him. So because yeah, you, yeah. you see all these actors in in camera, so many brilliant actors and yeah. directors and filmmakers and. You want to work with each one of them, and sometimes yeah. you know them, and you've seen them around for several years, and uh, never get a chance to work with them. And that was the first time met him, and he was just as nice as I thought he was going to be. Yeah. You know, he's awesome. Yeah. So he's a very nice guy. Oh, definitely. great guy! Yeah, yeah. And so um, that was really it was nice for me because I was I was really passionate about that role. Yeah. And then working with John as well, it was okay. it was really really. Well, great. tell us about the lore of Dimitri, mm. and uh, and you mentioned that uh, you went through a particular process mm. in researching the. Uh, the role and things like that. So mm. tell us a little bit about that. And what, what did you learn from that experience? What I learned, um, so what I did, obviously with, with, uh, with Dimitri, he was um, Russian. And so I, 
I think it's really important if you're playing a different culture, different nationality, I think it, the most important thing as actors to be respectful and to do the role justice. I wanted to not I wanted to stay away from any sort of stereotypical kind of portrayal. And so what I did is um I, a friend of mine's Russian, so I spoke to him um about a lot about the culture, uh, about the perceptions. I also read a lot online too cuz you know when you sort of read about something then you talk to Someone like, you know, they, they said online, they talk about Russian culture, they can be quite uh, superstitious. And I spoke to him and he's like, not so much, you know, and it's you know, depending on the information or, or where, which part of the country they're talking about. But as I started talking to him, I really sort of worked with the character because I wanted him and I sort of semi-based this character off him as my friend's a very, um, very intelligent man, pretty humble. And I kind of wanted... Dimitri to sort of show that he had a really good sense of humor. He's actually a really nice guy, very clever, but softly spoken at times. Hmm. Yeah, so um, what I learned is, um, you know, as I said, I wanted to do justice, but I, I sort of tried to learn a little bit of Russian as well. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I can't speak any at the moment. Um, I'll be out of practice. Tell us a couple of words. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, a, you know, I, I'm not going to say da. <laughs> da. Da. But, um, Spasiba. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. But, you know, I, I learned a bit, of, a bit of the words. Um, I sort of got him, I was really prepared for it because it, it was all unscripted, the, the role. So, um, you know, I learned about, tried to find a place in the country which wasn't your typical Moscow or, or St. Petersburg. I wanted to sort of come up with something that's a bit more um, of a, something no one's ever heard of and trying to find something I could pronounce well and all that stuff and come up with his backstory. Um, and also learned about the space program, the Russian space program, which oh, I thought was, was interesting. So yeah. the Star City. And yeah, the yeah, it was, it was really quite, quite interesting because, you know, I only really knew about the American space program, obviously, but yeah. So that's another thing about acting is that... Uh, you learn a lot about other uh, fields and other other cultures and things like that. Absolutely, yeah. So it's 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 very eye opening, isn't it? it? It really, really is. It sort of opens you to a, a lot of things. Um, also, um, about you know, you, you learn about obviously culture, backgrounds, all this sort of stuff. But I think you also learn a lot about yourself as well, which is a selfish thing. <laughs> to, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. But you learn, you work out what you're comfortable with and what you're yep. not comfortable with, you know. And it's um, some of it can be confronting because you know, uh, some you do need a bit of research and need to work out: Am I comfortable with doing this scene? You know, and, and especially if you're playing a bad guy, because a lot of it, uh, you know, you can use to make him look despicable and and all that stuff. But there's a, there's a, a line, and that line I've yeah. learnt. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the, 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 how far I can take it and, yeah, yeah. and what I'm willing to do. And it's, it's all experience as well. And usually with characters, it's about their growth, right? Mm. So there might be a bad guy at the beginning, yeah. but there might be a good well, guy. Well, that's, that's sort of a, a principle I've sort of done to, when you are playing the bad guy is to yeah. understand that even bad people have their good sides. You know, they have yeah. their good qualities, yeah. you know. So try and sort of bring that forward. So it's, it's, it sort of brings it into more a realistic yeah. character that people can yeah. relate to. And when they're bad, it's because they're bad for a reason yes. and they have a motivation. Everyone has their agenda. So, yeah. True. Mm. And that's what I loved about Star Trek is that mm. they weren't really good guys or bad guys. Mm. There were people who, were, who did good and bad. Mm. But, yeah, there was something behind what they did. Mm. So generally people did good things because mm. they wanted uh, the world to be a better place. And, mm. uh, they yeah, so they've got their own agenda, good, you know. And, yeah. Do good, and, mm. you know. Um, and exploration was obviously part of it. Mm. Of, even in Star Wars, like, you know, Darth Vader, I mean, mm. just looking at the prequels, <laughs> yeah. um, like, you know, the reason why he went bad yeah, yeah. was very much human. Mm. Very it was, human. unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Well, it was unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunately, <bad>. yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's move on to um, Unrequited Fear. Mm. And you played the character of? Bob. Bob. Yeah, Bob, Bob the, the Alien. Bob the Alien. Mm. <laughs> uh, so the, this this short film was a little bit of a quirky one. And mm. Michael, um, Michael played uh, Bob the Alien. So let's have a quick look at a short um, video um, of that film. And if you want to watch the whole thing, you can obviously go to www.sfc. Sorry, www.sfcfilms.com. Mm. So sfcfilms one word. Okay. <laughs> dot com, <laughs> and uh, you can watch it uh, there. Uh, so let's go to my screen, and then I'll play a quick snippet. Hey, 
Did you bow boo? Yeah. Yeah. Someone's outside. That's not Daniel. <laughs> so that was Bob the alien. Well, we don't see much of him there, but yeah, he really uh, comes a little bit later mm, in the film. We don't mm. want to give too much away. Mm. Um, but yeah, tell me about Bob the alien. Uh, Bob the alien. Bob the alien was um, alien that's um, well, he's tried to learn about the Australian culture and language, and um, the accent he picked up was a very ochre yeah. <laughs> kind of voice, very very softly spoken. It's a, you know it's scary at first, but yeah. You know, he's you, uh, once he starts get once he starts talking, he you realize he's he's quite quite a gentle kind of guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. he's, he's a nice guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay, so tell me about the process of uh, how you went how you got into character with Bob the Alien, and what did you learn from the experience? Um, well, I, I sort of tried a couple of things. How I was going to do it, like um, what sort of voice I was going to use. You know, yeah. I wanted to sort of. Um, uh, you know, if I was going to do something really unusual and a weird inflection on how he talks, uh, I think I, I spoke to um, George and I just said, um, I'm thinking about doing like a real Aussie accent. And he goes, yeah, do it. <laughs> I should have showed him what I was thinking. And he's like, yeah, do it. Cause it's, you know, he's like, he, so he's, George was the director. Yeah, sorry, George. Yeah, a talented man, that one. Yeah. And um, yeah, he, um, him and I worked with it and he was happy with it and we went with that. And I was, yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Cause it was kind of nice, like, because the alien, he, he, he looks scary. And but he's really quite gentle, and I, and I found people sort of say that about me sometimes. That I, I'm tall and I'm, and I'm big, but it's um I'm really quite harmless as well. Yeah. So it was nice to sort of play that role True. in a in a sense as well. Yeah. Mm. And I guess that was one of the core cool messages of that film is that uh, you can never tell. So you know that's why it says unrequited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So unrequited, for those who haven't heard the term, mm. it means unreturned or unwarranted. Mm. Uh, so the, the most of the problems that we have are stem from fear. Absolutely. And mm. uh, and 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 yeah, like you know, we are all people. We are all one human. Absolutely. Family. And that's that's the core message of optimistic sci-fi mm. is that we are we are all one human family. Mm. What did you learn from the experience? Um, uh, playing Bob the alien. Yeah. Um, I mean, like you know, from the production side of thing, I think because I got to work with Emily and hadn't actually worked with her before. Mm. And um, and John again. I got to obviously he was there. I got yeah. to meet him quick, quickly again. Um, it was just a lot, you know, obviously on learning about um, playing that alien character. I thought was just really kind of cool on how I walked and how I moved. I tried to make it look a little bit unusual, yeah. <laughs> a little bit different. And um, and it was sort of a, one of those sort of acting goals. I always wanted to play an alien. So, you know, it was it was really cool to sort of get into that. And this, you know, he's, he's awkward. He's big. He's sort of a little bit clumsy. And um, but has has you know what his his intentions at the end. I think are, are just so you know I don't want to blow it. But it was it was nice. I yeah. thought it was, it was a nice. Yeah. So one of the things that. Uh, we did was uh, put prosthetics on you. Mm. Um, so I'll play a little video while, oh, cool. yep. while you talk about it. Mm. Tell us a little bit about the prosthetics. Well, Amelia is um, a really talented, beautiful person in, in Canberra. You know, she's, she's an actor, she's a writer, she's a musician, she's everything. <laughs> One of those people that are annoyingly talented. But then she did my makeup for this and um you know she did a great job and it's obviously you know any kind of makeup you're sitting down for a long time and it's um a lot of work and they're putting a lot of work into it so you know it, it, being an actor does take a lot of patience <laughs> you know, yeah. it does take a lot and uh, Amelia was great you know she um you know sat me down and um went through that process um the worst part about it of is not really wearing the prosthetic on the nose, so, you know, because it's they don't breathe prosthetics, they're sweaty. No, and when you wear like fake nose, ears, chin, and things like that, you, yeah. you just and they're gonna glue it on, yeah, they're gonna glue it on. Mm -hmm. Uh, the worst part was was she sprayed my hair with some golden paint spray mm -hmm. since it's in a can and compressed, it was so cold, <laughs> I couldn't help but like just yeah, <laughs> getting like a shiver up your spine from it. And yeah. she was she was laughing each time she did it, yeah, I think yeah. she enjoyed seeing me 
squirm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. But was it uncomfortable or have you just got used to it? Uh, it's, it's never entirely comfortable. Oh, okay. um, but after a while, you, it's like anything, you just forget it's there. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've, I've worn prosthetics before when, um, you know, when you get home and you get in the shower and you're trying to peel it off. You know, if it's like silicon or if it's like paint, you're trying to wash it off. And yeah. then, um, and also like, you know, also becoming an actor, I didn't realize how much makeup actually did. <laughs> yeah, like I knew obviously it helps, but when you actually see it on yourself, it's like, oh wow, it does actually make me look a bit better, you know, or a bit scary or whatever. Yeah, so it's, it's um, everything you do is a learning experience, I think. Yeah. I think. Absolutely. Oh wow. Yeah. Mm. Wonderful, mm. wonderful. Mm. Um, so let's get on to, I think, what, um, what, we came here to do to give some hits and tips. Oh yes, to hits and tips. Our fans out there, yes, uh, on, on uh, acting in an optimistic sci-fi. Mm. So, um, so that camera is yours. Oh, and, thank you. Uh, yeah, feel free to give us um, any hints and tips. Mm -hmm. uh, but the top five. Top five. Top five. Top five. Okay. Um, so go, my top five hits. Go when you're ready. Tips. If you really want to hear them, um, I would say you're good enough. Always remember, you're good enough. Um, a, a lot of roles, sometimes we don't take certain uh, opportunities because we don't think we can do them and we think people are going to be better and people are going to beat us. But always remember, give it your best shot. Just do it. Just just dive in and do it. You, and no, so you'll be surprised how good you are at something. Follow it, really. It's a dream. If it's a dream and you want to do it, do everything you can to make that come true, I would say. Um, I would say be respectful. Um, you know, like I was just saying, playing a different nationality it's um be respectful of a different culture be respectful of the people you're around uh your partner you know the your, your co-cast and everything like that um you know if it's um showing respect is also on you know any sort of embracing your cast members you know touching fighting anything like that just be be respectful be reliable. Always be on time. Be early if you can. Be early. Learn your lines. Uh, learn your character. Because um, the director and the or the production have put so much in to get this thing off the ground. I would say it's your role now to, to make their vision come true and do it that way. I'd say to be serious. Take it seriously. Not too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. Have fun with it. But do it justice. You know, um, you, you want to have fun, be serious, but have a good time doing it. Because this is, acting is one of the best jobs I've ever had. And it's a lot of fun. So I would say, have fun, do a good job. Oh, wonderful. Would you have tips for, <laughs> what, would, what would be your tips on a, for a director's point of view? Oh, from a director's what do you, point What do you want from your actors? Oh, okay. Well, you can put me on the I have. Yeah, <laughs> so. What's it about me? I want to, I, I you know. So I, I would say being prepared is one thing. Mm. Uh, um, uh, and and don't be afraid of getting feedback. So mm. most often, especially in mainstream, mm. um, you know, media, mm. film, things like that, uh, directors have a very narrow vision. Mm. They they don't want to hear anybody else's point of view. Like that. That's it, not well, it's the like case, with any sort of art. It's, you're passionate about it. Yeah. You know, and when you're passionate about it, you you can't help but take it yeah, personally. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it is your vision. Obviously, yeah. you mm. need to be true to your vision. Things mm. about at the same time. You need to listen to um, to to the people around you, mm, okay. um, especially like actors like such mm. as yourself, mm. who get into the brain of the characters. Mm. I mean, they they research it inside and out, yeah, and they they know more about the character than mm. anybody. These are that, mm. uh, but yeah, not being prepared and uh, listening. Um, I think um, was it um, uh, who was the famous director. Um, uh, the the big fat guy who used to make a lot of thrillers. Um, uh, uh, um, Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of his famous line was uh, he said, "Filmmaking is about, oh, or directing is about. Uh, sorry, filmmaking is ninety eight percent script. Yeah, and the other two percent is not to stuff it up. All oh, right. So, <laughs> okay. Cool. That's good. So yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know why so why that came in my head. But yeah, no, but that's, so. it's, it's important to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's, to actually not stuff up the script, you need the input of everybody, mm. including the cast and mm. crew. There's something similar you said the other day, like it's um, when someone does give you feedback, is yeah. how, how did you put it? You sort of, um, it's not a personal attack. It's, it's, right. it's on your 
um, project, yeah. but not you. You sort of said something similar to that. Yeah, yeah. How do you overcome any kind of, you know, um, feedback that, that could be negative, it could be positive? Yeah. How do you not take it personally, though? Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, it's mm. uh, like you said, art is, you know, you put your heart and soul into mm. it and things like that. But you got to remember that when people are um, giving you feedback, they're taking time mm. to give you feedback. Mm. Uh, there are so many people that say, oh, yeah, that's nice, but like, you yeah. know, they don't really mean it. Don't mean it, yeah. Um, so, so obviously people who give feedback need to learn how to give feedback. Mm. And, you know, you, you know. There's a way to do it as well. Yeah, there's a way. Yeah, there's a absolutely. Way of doing it as well. Mm. That doesn't mean that like you know you're all nice and you know mm. all touchy feely. Yeah. Know, but like you gotta. But from the receiving end, mm. uh, obviously you you gotta take it on board. Yeah. You, know? you gotta take it on board. Mm. Um, and and if it makes sense, if it's something useful, mm. obviously do something with it. If it's not, Just ignoring it. It is fine as well. Yeah. You know? And I think that's um what I'd sort of find too is um taking feedback is. Um, because some people can be quite yep. harsh with giving feedback, and um, and it's very easy to listen to all of it yep. too. And I, I sort of have had and I've had to learn it from being a musician. As um, you got to take you you, you got to choose what you listen to as well. I think yep. you know, like like you're saying, it, it's sort of um, you know, you sort of tell yourself if would you go to that person for advice and if you say no they don't listen to the you know don't be arrogant but never be arrogant but um at the same time there's some people that the advice and feedback they give can just be you know a little bit too negative sometimes i like i like you know say it in a positive way (laughs) if you can yeah Yeah. Mm. um okay well i think we've got two minutes left oh well that went fast (laughs) (laughs) we're having lots and lots of fun yeah this is good um so uh, no I usually what I usually do at the end of mm. the streams, um, uh, we have a little bit of a Q and A session. So this sure. is an interactive part mm. of the stream. Mm-hmm. Is that uh, you can ask us questions. So if you're on Facebook, uh, oh, and this is another thing that I forgot to mention, mm. we're simul- uh, simul- we're simulcasting. So we're mm. uh, streaming both on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Mm. Woo-hoo. <laughs> I know a lot of people have done it, but this is the first time for for SFC. So how about awesome. this writing contest? Do you? Yeah, yeah, so I'll talk about the writing contest. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Got your back, man. Yeah, yeah, good idea. <laughs> uh, but let's, let's hear from our audience. Um, so if you're on Facebook, you can just leave a comment. Uh, um, I see Mick is logged in and Michael. Uh, okay, I can't read the, uh, the surname. But anyway, uh, welcome, Michael and Mick. Um, if you guys have got any questions, just type on Facebook. And if you're on YouTube... The chat is on your right hand side. Is it right hand side or left side? Right, right hand side. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just type in your questions in the chat box as well. Mm. Um, so we'll, we'll chat a few few more minutes mm. uh, until you get your questions you down. But feel free to ask, uh, ask Michael away. any questions um, on acting. Uh, so this is, uh, thank you for the tips that you gave. That's, oh, that's absolutely. Useful. I hope it's helpful. Um, one of the things that I want to ask you, so those who, who want to get into acting, so mm. haven't acted before, mm. what's one of the first steps that they can take? Oh, I would say, um, you know, if I can plug a local business, you know, yeah. like, what, like Perform Australia, I think is um, really good to for to a short course on acting. Okay. You know, like a Acting 101, I think it's really good to show people, yeah. um, you know, how, what, what what's needed. I think, and I think it's a great like they're just short courses, and I think I highly recommend them. Um, and who is the short course by? Did you say? Uh, Perform Australia. Perform they're they're Australia. in Fishwick, yeah. Okay. Um, I'd recommend them. So if they're outside of Australia, they just go to their local. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Like there's got to be like community centres as well that um, do these, and and there's a lot of um, on Facebook. There's a lot of groups, acting groups, and if you want to even get in, you know, even extra work and things like that, you can learn a lot. And when you when you're on film. You're surrounded by a lot of really good people, and I found you can learn so much on off anyone. You know, someone younger, someone older. You know, like anyone can be your teacher when it comes to acting because there's so much to learn. Yeah. And it's so yeah, get on Facebook, um, get on um, you know uh, any sort of acting, you know, short courses and things. Get an idea, you know, yeah. see if it's it's for you. If you want to do it, just do it. You know, I, I put it off for a long time, and I wish I did it sooner. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's fantastic. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, we've got one question. Um, besides acting, mm. what keeps you busy? 
Ah, um, I am a musician, so I've been yeah. playing guitar for um, a very long time, twenty something years, I think. Now I've been playing. Um, I've been playing, played in bands, and um, write write for sometimes soundtracks and films as well. Uh, I do that, so I obviously play guitar a lot. That's something I love writing music. Also do gym, go to the gym, do a lot of boxing and things like that, martial arts, and um, that seems to keep me really busy. Okay. Besides film. Oh, and, and and a nine to five work job, which is yeah, yeah. you know, I, I do to fund my <laughs> other musical and acting careers. Hmm. Oh, here's a question, interesting one. What was your experience on working in the focus on ability film? So what what is this focus on ability film? Focus on ability was um the encouraging directors and filmmakers to that are, um, that have a disability, and a lot of them make these such great films as well. In this, as part of this um, competition on it, on the focus on ability. Uh, so, you know, with, with uh, unfortunately, my role is I got called in last minute. Though they had someone that um, was this a it. particular project. Yeah, yeah, uh, for Airlock it was called, and um, the. Cast member, I think, was sick. I think he had, a, um, had to pull out. And so they sort of asked me the night before, like, here's your script. Can you do this? And mm -hmm. that's another thing with acting is sometimes you've got to hit the ground running and you've got to learn your lines quickly and your character quickly. So I didn't have a lot of time to really develop the character heaps, but um, it was a great experience as well to, to sort of throw in the deep end. Sometimes yeah. it's kind of exciting, you know. Yeah. Scary, but exciting. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Okay, um, I think that's all the questions we're getting from the audience. Well, thank you so much for your questions, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I know some of the uh, some of your friends have logged in, and I guess some of these questions are from them as well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Thank you guys for joining us. For, I thought everyone was nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for everybody who joined us. Thank and you. just before we end, uh, just quick updates. And you mentioned the um, writing contest. Yeah, yes. Um, so the writing contest, um, so there is a theme now in the writing contest, uh, it's unity. Uh, so sure. apart from it being optimistic sci science fiction, you also need to have the theme unity in your scripts. Uh, for more details, go to sfcfilms.com and you have a link there to the actual site where you can get the details and submit. There's also a tutorial video on there on how to submit your script. Uh, so that that'll that'll help you on if you have never submitted a script through Freem Freeway. That's mm. that's a good resource and, and whatnot. Good luck. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> You'll do good. Yeah, yeah. No, mm. ho hopefully to to see your scripts. Uh, another update is the Man in the Moon. Oh, yeah. Another project that we were both involved in. Mm. Absolutely. That's coming to SFC Films uh, soon uh, on the twelfth or the thirteenth. I'm not quite sure. Um, so it'll, it'll be on sfcfilms.com. So that's the release of the latest film that we've been involved in. Mm. Another announcement that I'd like to make, and um, we won't expand on it because we're still working on it, mm. um, is a feature film that uh, Michael is uh, uh, going to yes. be involved in next Very year. Very excited. It's going to be good. Called mm. The Explorers. Unfortunately, I can't tell you much more than that. Uh, but from the name, you can tell that it's it's gonna be it's gonna a, be awesome. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be a cool. cool one. So. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> exciting. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Michael, thank no, for, thank you, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and yeah, and thank you for all the tips and tricks. I'm sure I, I know I, I I learned a lot today. And, oh, did you? Uh, yeah. And hopefully, um, I'll give them to acting oh. as well. I, I think <laughs> you're, you're very kind, yeah. man. Thank, thank you. you. But thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Mm. Uh, so until next time, uh, keep watching Optimistic Sci-Fi and keep making Optimistic Sci-Fi. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. Take care, guys.